I'm Dr. Gina Marcello, and this is a tutorial about Twitter, how to set up an account, what your account should look like, and how to tweet, including such things as hashtags, at mentions, and bit.ly links. This is part of the course, Writing for the Web. The first thing that I would suggest that you do is go to the Google search engine and type in the word Twitter. When you type in the word Twitter, it's going to bring you up to these, the search results and Twitter will be the first one. If you click on it, it will bring you to the page where either you can sign up or log in. I already have an account, but I'm going to show you the sign up page. When you click on sign up, it's going to ask you to select a name and that will be your handle. So for example, my handle is NJGina, the at sign NJGina. You will need to select a name and I would suggest that the name not be too long so people can find you. And then you either give them your phone number or your email address. I'm not able to create another account because I'm already using my email address. So it only allows you one email. However, if you do have a Twitter account and you want to add a different, um, Twitter handle, you are able to do that. So if you decide to do that for this class, that is perfectly okay and I would only have access or be able to see the account that you're tweeting from and interacting with the class. So once you do that, um, your, your account will be created and I am going to actually take a step back right here and I'm going to log in to my account so you can see what the Twitter account actually looks like. So here's my Twitter account and I'm going to bring you right to my page and as you can see um, it's NJ Gina and this is me and a header and what you have the ability to do and I would suggest that you do use this idea for Twitter because it does help with communicating with other people online it also helps give credibility to you as a voice or a speaker around a topic. One of the things that you'll notice is people become subject matter experts on Twitter for different topics if you're going to use Twitter professionally. And a lot of people who are writers, um, celebrities, athletes, journalists, PR professionals do use Twitter as a means to uh, gain information and to share information. And what you use in your header as well as what you use for your profile picture will be the first things that people see about you and then that will um, be one of the ways they make a decision of whether or not they want to follow you. So once your Twitter account is set up you'll have the option of writing a little bio and I would suggest for the purpose of this class that you put perhaps you're a student at Georgian Court University, your major and maybe one of your interests. I have here also my personal website. You can, if you so desire, add the link to your blogging site. When you feel that your blogging site is in a place that you're comfortable with, it's a really good opportunity to link different things together. So as I can show you here, I um, am on my personal website, which is a WordPress blog site that I've um, switched over to a static web page which basically just means I don't post a blog posts on it I use it as a repository of information so if you haven't had the chance yet this is a little bit about me on my WordPress this is a link it's a plugin that you can use on yours as well uh, with my Twitter handle and then I have information here about my CV, my research, some instructional videos that I use that are linked back to my YouTube channel uh, some of the creative works, the documentary films I've been working on, uh, podcasts that I have uh, created with students in years past. So let's just go back. Uh, Twitter is a great place to make connections and to network. So as I said, you want to set it up in this way. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to tweet to the class. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on tweet and I'm going to say welcome to hashtag CM230 writing for the web students please use the course hashtag when sharing information Actually, I'm going to take out this because when, when you tweet it, 
this is actually going to go to everybody that follows me. The hashtag here, CM230, as you'll, I'll show you in a second, will aggregate all of the other comments that anyone uses where they put the hashtag CM230. I'm going to say uh, CM230, welcome, to writing for the web, <laughs> welcome to Twitter. Students, please, and I'm just going to fix this, sorry. Please use the course hashtag when sharing information. Thanks, Dr. Marcello. And that's me. And if I click on that, it'll at me. <laughs> I'm adding myself. Normally you would not at yourself, but I want to show you how you can add other people. So when you post for this week for the first time, if you're not used to using Twitter, you want to make sure you have the course hashtag and you would want to at me just to make sure that I did get it. Now let's talk about using a link. So I'm going to go um, over here and we're just going to click on, I'm going to go to www.georgian. Oh, there it is. So just for the purposes of this demonstration, let's say this is the website that I want to add to my, to my, um, to my tweet. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go to a place called bit.ly Bitly allows me to shorten links and if you've been doing the reading you'll notice one of the things that the authors do talk about is Bitly. Bitly allows you to shorten your, um, your, the number of characters that you use in a link. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it back into my tweet and as you'll see right there that is a bit.ly link so when you're tweeting to the class and you're tweeting at me for this week's assignment or in the future weeks what you usually do and I would highly recommend this is that you shorten the link especially if it's something really long and in order to do that you use bit.ly in the case of this Georgian is really not that long and I want the Georgian to be displayed on the tweet because I am writing this to the class. So I'm going to just put this here. See how it highlights? When it's highlighted, it means that it's a live link and it's clickable. So hashtag CM230 and then the website, writing for the web, welcome to Twitter. Oh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Let's move that over here and cutting and pasting. CM230. Okay, welcome, GCU, CM230, writing for the web. Um, welcome, GCU, writing for the web on Twitter. Please use the course hashtag when sharing information. There we go. So I'm going to tweet this out right now. <laughs> my followers are not going to know what that means, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm going to go to my tweets, so just so you can get an idea. Yeah. Turn. Here it is. And it pops up. So when the link is in there, it does actually show it with the image, which is really great. And this is a student that just graduated, Jackie. Now this will go into the feed. It also goes to CM230. So if I click on that hashtag, It'll bring up top latest, we're going to hit, click on latest, it'll bring up everything that has the hashtag CM230. So this is from a prior semester, and as you can see, anything that was shared using CM230 is now aggregated in this feed. All right, so let's go back to the page. So what I've shared with you right now is you need to setting up your Twitter account itself. And I've also shared with you, I'm going to go home, click on this, some of the different elements of the actual screen that you're, you'll see when you create Twitter and some of the things to be aware of, like your header, your image, whether or not you'd like to include the blog, the WordPress blog that you're working on, the link there. I showed you the importance of hashtag, how to at someone so they can direct message them. It does go to everyone when you do tweet it in that way, um, as well as how to take a link and shorten it. So if you do have any questions, you please don't hesitate to ask. And I would also really encourage you to take some time and look at some things, you know, look at people that you might be interested in following, people or organizations. Here I follow the New York uh, Post Sports 
Fantasy Sports Radio, I follow Harvard, um, and other individuals that I find interesting and uh, places that I might want to visit. So who you follow is going to have a really large impact on the type of information that you get from Twitter. We'll talk more about this as the weeks go on, but I would encourage you to spend some time in Twitter and locate individuals that you would be interested in following and hearing from. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on Twitter. Have a great day.